Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a Samsung refrigerator that's not getting cold. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to troubleshoot the compressor. Alright, so here's a look at the controls. Right now the freezer says negative 2, the refrigerator says 44 degrees. So what's going on is when I plug this machine in, it gets down to temperature like it's supposed to. And then after it runs for a while, it stops getting cold. Everything seems to be running. The fans are both running. The fan by the compressor is running, but the compressor stops running. All right, so here's a look at the wiring diagram on the back of the refrigerator. For those of you who want to see this, the circuit that we're going to be looking at is number five right there in the center of the screen with the S slash blue, and that's for a sky blue wire. Looks like it runs through the running capacitor, then over to the compressor, through the overload protection, that's the circuit that we're going to be looking at. We're going to see if power's coming off the control board and making it to the compressor. So we either have a bad relay on the control board or we have a bad start device on the side of the compressor. And we're going to find out. All right, so here's a look at the compressor. The compressor fan, which is running. Right here we got the blue water valve. And this big white box right here is what hides the control board. And that's what we're going to be taking out of the machine and looking at. Now an easy way to tell if the compressor is running or not is put your hand on it. Now right now it's just warm. Not as warm as it should be if it was running, it's just slightly warm, so I know it's not. I don't feel any vibrations or anything like that. It's just perfectly still, it's not vibrating, it's not making any sounds. So I'm sure the compressor is not running. And it should be, because the fan's running and the temperature inside the refrigerator is getting higher. Okay, so we want to remove the control board from the machine, so for this process, I'm going to unplug the refrigerator from the wall. So we're unplugged. And to get it out, first thing you got to do is remove the water valve because it blocks part of the control board housing. So we'll move the, the water valve out of the way. We'll take out the two screws to hold the control board in place. Now that those are out, we can just pull this right out of the machine. And we're going to lay it down like this. Okay, now that we have the machine, the control board out of the machine laying down, there's one screw on the top here that holds the cover. So we got that screw out. Now you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. So we're going to pry this off, just a couple clips. There's one more over here. And there's our control board. Alright, so the first test we're going to do is to test the components on the side of the compressor. Now this is going to test the overload device. So basically what we're going to do is go into the hot side. These wires come right off the power cord. Now the machine is unplugged from the wall for this test. Now this, the power is going to run through the compressor, through the overload, and back here to the neutral on the sky blue wire. So I should have a completed circuit to this point. And when I stick my meter in there, I have a completed circuit. I get the beep. I'm getting 3.3, 2.7, and that's telling that's the that's going to be like the run windings or the start windings on the compressor. So I know that the devices on the side of the compressor are good. They're making contact. Now we have to check the relay. Okay, so what we're looking at now is I put my meter in the hot side of the power coming in off the cord and the other lead is on the sky blue and my voltmeter is set to volts AC. Now this relay is not making contact it's not closing the neutral side of the circuit to allow the compressor to run. There's voltage getting to the compressor and back to this point but without the neutral closing the compressor is not going to run and that's shown right here because I have absolutely no voltage. Now if I jiggle this wire again it's going to stress the board just enough that maybe the the relay contacts inside are going to connect. So let's try it out. 
my lights are flickering. I don't know if you can see that on camera. There we go. So I jiggled it enough that the relay has made contact to the neutral. I got my 117 volts and I can hear the compressor running. Nice little hum. I can feel the vibration. So the first thing we tested was the components on the side of the compressor by doing an ohms reading back to the neutral. Now we're doing a now we're doing a voltage reading to see if the neutral closed. So we definitely know that the relay on this control board is bad. All right, so there's a little bit of troubleshooting on a Samsung refrigerator compressor and how to check the relay on the control board. Now most Samsung refrigerators have a pretty similar setup. So hopefully this helps you guys out if you have a machine that's giving you the same problems this one was. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. I will be making more videos on this refrigerator on how to check the fans, the defrost system, check on error codes and stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so as I make those videos, you'll be able to find them. Thanks for watching.